The ASUS ROG Phone 3 is an absolute monster when it comes to performance, but how does it fare up in a charging speed test against some seriously fast charging gaming smartphones of 2020? Well, the ASUS comes paired with a massive 6,000 mAh battery, the biggest of this test, and you finally get that 30 watt charging block in the box, which is the max wattage that we can do. The Black Shark 3 Pro comes paired with a 65 watt charging block in the box, which is absolutely incredible, with a slightly smaller 5,000 milliamp hour battery. The Red Magic 5G comes with an 18 watt block in the box, so you have to splurge extra, but it can go up to 55 watt charging, which is a block that I have here with a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. This should be really interesting to see. This is Technic, and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start here obviously by plugging them in just to let you guys know I'm going to plug in the ROG Phone 3 on the side mounted USB port. That is what they say is the fastest possible hypercharge speeds. Hypercharge is the 30 watt block that you get in the box by the way. I've made sure that all battery optimizations on the ROG are off. There aren't really charging optimizations on the Black Shark and the Red Magic respectively. Timer interval at the top right corner after five minutes, 6% on the ROG, 14% on the Black Shark and 15 on the Red Magic 5G. After just 10 minutes we have 11 percent on the rog phone 27 on the black shark and now beating that the red magic 5g by one percent with 28 percent gonna speed things up once again go back down to 15 minutes here the time interval 19 percent now on the rog 44 percent on the black shark 44 percent on the red magic now exactly tied will be really interesting to see which one can come out faster so 27 percent on the rog after 20 minutes 60 percent on the black shark now surpassing that of the red magic with 58 percent after 20 minutes and reaching that 30 minute mark which we're about to get to in a second. We have 44% on the ROG phone, 85 now on the Black Shark, now going even further past the Red Magic 5G on 82%. Just testing out some heat over here, you can see that the ROG is close to 50 degrees Celsius, being the hottest of the three phones over here. The Red Magic, just a little bit cooler than that, but the coolest phone here, probably the Black Shark 3 Pro. Remember guys, I am living in China. It is currently summer over here, so it is extremely hot. I'm talking about 35, 40 degrees Celsius just in my house alone. So you're gonna to expect temps like this. Moving on up to the 45 minute mark, which we'll get to in a second. But first, let's see who's gonna take it between the Black Shock and Red Magic. The Red Magic 5G gets 100% after just 44 minutes. That is absolutely insane. But remember, it does have the smallest 4,500 milliamp hour battery out of the three phones of here. After that 45 minute mark, we have 66% on the ROG phone and 97% on the Black Shock 3 Pro. Almost there with a much bigger battery than the Red Magic. The Black Shock 3 Pro is actually doing a better job if you ask me we'll get to milliamp hours per minute in a second the red magic 5g 42 degrees thereafter it did its charging run the black shark 3 pro just knocked out 100 percent after 51 minutes still very impressive fast charging for a massive 5000 milliamp hour battery and the rog phone at the same time is sitting at 72 percent when the other two have already hit that 100 percent mark sitting at around 40 degrees celsius on the black shark 3 pro so it is slightly cooler after its charge of the red magic 5g even though it has a bigger battery and faster wattage charge but it has less milliamp hours per minute compared to the Red Magic and less percentage per minute as well. If you take a look at the bottom of the screen there, you can see that the first 4,000 milliamp hours charged on the Black Shark and on the Red Magic, it is better on the Black Shark with 27 minutes, 148 milliamp hours per minute over there compared to the Red Magic's 118 milliamp hours per minute. So the Black Shark is actually charging its first 4,000 faster than that of the Red Magic. 94% on the ROG phone after an hour and 15 minutes, it is taking quite a while. Remember the ROG phone 2's fastest time on my channel, was an hour and 45 minutes, though I did use the bottom port. It is said to do around an hour and a half as well using the side mounted port, which supports hypercharge wattage block that you get in the box. After an hour and 30 minutes, 98%, almost hitting that full charge rate of 100% there on the ROG phone. And after just one hour and 34 minutes, it hits 100%. Guys, this is not the worst charging on my channel. The iPhone and Sony Xperia 1 Mark II with a tiny 4,000 milliamp hour battery hit it in almost two hours. So this 6,000 milliamp hour ROG Phone 3 is doing a better job than those phones and in its first 4,000 milliamp hours it got a 46 minutes of charge which is actually great but third place nevertheless the ROG Phone 3 with an hour and 34 minutes still a massive 
battery. So if you ask me, I'm pretty impressed. That's not very long to wait for a full charge, only 6,000 milliamp hour battery. Second place, the Black Shark 3 Pro with 51 minutes here. Of course, you have that wonderful 65 watt charging block, more than double that of the ROG Phone 3. And first place, the Crown King, still in gaming phones, fastest charging gaming phone I have tested on my channel. Red Magic 5G, 44 minutes, 55 watt charging, but the smallest 4,500 milliamp hour battery over here. Compared to their best previous results, of course, I haven't tested the ROG Phone 3 before, but the Black Shark 3 Pro was nine minutes slower than its best result, and the Red Magic 5G was four minutes slower, and the ROG Phone 3 is actually 10 minutes quicker than its predecessor, ROG Phone 2. And during the first 4,000 milliamp hour charge of this test, the ROG Phone 3 actually had a better milliamp hours per minute than its full charge, which is now 87 in the first 4,000 milliamps compared to 64 milliamps overall, which means that the phone would charge a lot faster if it allowed full 30 watt charging throughout the entire test from zero to 100%. But in order to preserve battery life and letting your battery last over the years to come, ROG has been smart enough to slow things down at around 85, 90%. So it would be 46 minutes if it had a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. The Black Shark 3 Pro would be 27 minutes if it had a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Once again, 50 more milliamp hours per minute over there for the Black Shark and 102 milliamp hours for the Red Magic on the full charge jumps up to 118 milliamp hours per minute in its first 4,000 milliamps. But remember, this phone is only 4,500 milliamps, so it's not that much of a jump down on what the battery is currently sitting at. And we got 34 minutes there, so the Black Shark 3 Pro would actually be the fastest of the three phones over here if all of them had the same 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic, and I'll see you in the next one.